prizes in front of me. I can't dwell on what happened on yesterday. I can't change anything that happened yesterday. Can I get a witness here? If it was a bad day, it was just a bad day. I'm believing God that today will be better. Can I get a witness here? And I'm believing that to God that tomorrow will be even better than today. Can I get a witness here? But I cannot change tomorrow. I cannot go back into the past. Can I get a witness here? I ain't saying nothing here. And I don't know who holds tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I know who holds tomorrow. <laughs> rejoicing right now. I can't keep a bow down here. I can't stay discouraged. I can't stay down. My praise won't let me be quiet. My God won't let me be silent. He's done too much for me. And I know it's going to get better than this. So I keep lifting up my head. I keep shaking off my heaviness because I have an expectation as a child of God that the Lord will deliver me out of this affliction. That the Lord will deliver me out of this trial that I'm going through. And it's going to get better than this. Do I have anybody in the building that believe it's going to get better than this? And we need God to shake us up just one more, just one more shake and tell yourself, self, I need one more shaking. Hallelujah. One more. Come on and clap your hands for the Lord. One more shaking. One. So I'm glad about my salvation. I'm glad that I'm alive today. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Glory. Mm. Woo. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I see somebody praising God for what God has done for him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, you ought to praise him. to praise him. I said you got a right to praise him. I don't know what some of y'all waiting on. But if you made it, you ought to give him praise. If you made it, you ought to give him glory. If you made it, you ought to shout the victory. Yes!
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you've been so good to me. Lord, you've been good to me. I don't know about you, but you've been good to me. Oh, do you realize I'm 74 years old? He's been good to me. Oh, glory to God. This world was founded and framed with the word of God. See, without God, we wouldn't even be here. See, we got to understand that we got to get back to the old path. We got to go back to what was working when it began. Because then this world was framed with God and it's going to end with God. Because the Bible says the grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. You don't need no health care package to go to the doctor every week and see him and check up on you. You can just ask the Lord for it and he'll heal you instantly. Without any medications, without any problems, without any Advil and no Tylenol and all that other medicines. See, God's son, he came preaching and teaching the word. He told us to live holy. He told us to live right. He told us to go and occupy to each other. He told us to tell men and women about their sin. But a lot of people ain't telling people about their sin. A lot of people are not showing people the word how to give them sin to become free and separated from sin. How you can be loose by the master? You don't have to let sin reign in this blessed body. Sin don't have to reign in your body because God gave his life for sin. And God gave his life that we can live again.
Aren't you glad God gave us something to believe in? See, that's why we can shout. Because he gave us something to believe in. His word. Hallelujah. Even the time of this convention is in the word of God. Praise the Lord. This is our statement of faith. What do we believe? We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible. We believe in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, and born of the Virgin Mary. We believe that Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, that he ascended to heaven and is today at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor. We believe that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and that repentance is commanded of God for all and necessary for forgiveness of sins. We believe that justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. We believe in sanctification subsequent to the new birth through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word, and by the Holy Ghost. We believe holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. We believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost subsequent to a clean heart. We believe in speaking with other tongues as the Spirit gives utterance that it is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We believe in water baptism by immersion and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We believe in divine healing is provided for all in the atonement. We believe in the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet. We believe in the premillennial second coming of Jesus, first to resurrect the righteous dead and to catch away the living saints to him in the air, second to reign on the earth a thousand years. We believe in the bodily resurrection. Hallelujah, eternal life for the righteous and eternal punishment for the wicked.